Hey guys and welcome to today's video which is gonna be a very special one especially for modelers out there and specifically for those who want to improve their workflow for free. So I've got you guys a list of more than 30 add-ons that can be useful for modeling. On a side note, since the add-ons are free, not all of them are gonna be up to date with your latest Blender version, so you need to keep that in mind. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. Starting with Cat Sketcher, which is an add-on that can bring the utility of 2D sketching tools that can be found in CAD modeling software like Fusion and SolidWorks. And these 2D tools are known for enabling you to constrain like tangents, distances, angles, and more. But what if I told you that Cat Sketcher actually uses geometry nodes, which can help you access all of these tools within Blender while offering a completely non-destructive workflow, so it is highly recommended if you are a CAD designer who want to use Blender. Next, we have KitOps, the free version, which uses special Blender files called KitOps Insert to easily cut and add existing objects or create new ones, helping you rapidly make complex designs. Also, by the way, the KitOps 2 page version is amazing and has much more tools and features. So generally speaking, the KitOps add-on, including the free version, allows you to efficiently create objects and scenes like inserting doors and windows into walls and generate complex industrial design and specifically hard surface modeling designs, which I think is what it is gonna be used for in the first place. And the add-on comes with all sorts of modifiers to enhance your productivity and to gain even more time i highly recommend you keep a library of frequently used inserts for a quick and easy free detailing solution the next thing i recommend is a free bundle of add-ons created by koshiro who's behind many blender add-ons that can solve lots of problems i've already made a separate video about this so i recommend you check it out from the card in the video or in the description the next add-on is gonna be about a very specific type of modeling which is about creating Minecraft blocks. You heard me right. Block Blender is a geometry node add-on which allows you to turn complex looking 3D models into Minecraft blocks using over 32 different blocks. And it comes with a couple of tools to help you prepare your models for this process, as well as a couple of settings to fine tune your blocks like block size, model scale, interior in addition to exterior thickness and other stuff. And now let's talk about an add-on that helps generate and model planets. The free version of Custom Planet allows you to generate customizable planets within a short period of time. And of course, you guessed it, it is powered by geometry nodes. And since this is the free version of a paid version, you can expect it to be a little bit limited because you only get one surface type, one cloud type, one atmosphere type, and no emission, no water options. Nonetheless, this should be enough for you to generate cool looking planets that you can implement in the background of your scenes. Talking about scenes, one of the important things you can implement is cloth simulation. And this add-on from Daniel Beistad is a brilliant one because it simplifies the process of simulating cloth and it does so by bringing all the necessary tools for cloth simulation into a neat and organized user interface, like adding collisions, adjusting the quality of your sims, as well as other settings like pressure, shrink, bending, and so much more. In addition, you can pin different objects to your mesh as well as other useful operations that you can leverage for this process. And this add-on also comes with a couple of clothing assets that you can customize, simulate, and use for your characters. Next, we have a multi-purpose tool that does almost everything, but modeling is a very important part of it. Megapi Modifier is a Blender add-on that offers lots of tools to tackle many different aspects of Blender. In a nutshell, using it enables you to scatter assets and access lots of settings to adjust your scenes. It also comes with a couple of parametric architectural presets like stairs, pipes, fences, windows, handrails, and more. And you can array your objects in interesting ways using random arrays, which are also included. In addition, this tool offers a couple of other tools for management and optimization by like grouping, instancing, saving assets and materials, and much more. And as opposed to Backupy, the next add-on is very specific. If you have updated to Blender 4.1, then you have already probably noticed the new smoothing methods using the new modifier but you might love it or hate it and if you are the latter then the old auto smooth add-on is here for you using this one simply allows you to pin the smoothing modifier to the bottom of your modifier stack 
which will make it behave exactly as the old smoothie method used in previous Blender versions. Now, you might have heard of Archipack, which is a classic Blender add-on that brings a lot of flexibility and utility when working on architectural elements, varying from simple walls to windows, doors, slabs, fences, stairs, floors, you name it. Also, using Archipack allows you to adjust your assets in real time by changing the different values and parameters that come with it. And even though this free version is limited, you can still use these assets to achieve a decent result when it comes to architectural renders and scenes. And now let's go back to character creation. Or maybe not just character creation, but retopology in general with Retopo MT, which is really easy and efficient when it comes to this task. It allows you to simply draw different lines across the part of your character or model that you want to retopologize. And by doing so, you can start connecting your lines by specifying the amount of loop cuts. You can also merge bridges between different edges, slide your vertices, or merge vertices together, extrude different edges with control over how many loop cuts, and much more. Now, let's move on to something that helps you make game-ready assets. And getting your models ready for game engines is just gonna be easier with it. Angon's add-on basic version automates essential tasks for exporting, and it ensures models have the proper names and suffixes, differentiating between low-poly and high-poly versions needed for baking textures in other software. Plus, this add-on throws in handy rotation functions to quickly adjust your object's rotation just in case it is needed. Moving on, let's talk about yet another GeoNode-based add-on called GeoCables. In a nutshell, it is a generator that lets you add complex hanging pipes, and you can do this in a short period of time. And since it is procedural, it comes with a crazy level of customizability which allows you to fine-tune every little detail, like cable's radius, count, twist, corner ring, control, materials, and so much more. And it comes with five different connectors to add visual interest. And you could also use it in a fun way, by using a custom object to convert all the edges to cables, which will give you a very interesting result. Next, let me take you back to CAD modeling with CAD Transform. This one is a powerful add-on that brings a couple of cat-like modeling qualities right inside Blender. The add-on basically enhances precision in transformations such as grab, scale, and rotation by allowing detailed and accurate snapping options. You can actually snap from a face center, edge center, or scale objects by setting a temporary origin point to a vertex. And what I like about the add-on is that it integrates nicely within Blender, appearing as a tool in the toolbar instead of occupying the M panel, which for some kind of ensure it doesn't interfere with the Blender's default shortcuts. Now back to geometry nodes with an add-on called Geometry Nodes Pipes. This one is simple, but it can do a nice thing. Basically, it offers you the ability to generate pipes along a custom curve that can be modified, extruded, or even drawn using the pen curve tool. It comes with a bunch of settings to tweak the pipes, like connector radius and thickness in addition to the number of rivets and the ability to add additional parts like valves and connectors. It also comes with a procedural texture that will adapt to the changes so that you don't have to worry about texturing. The next add-on I'm going to talk about is called Shape Muse, which is an add-on designed for laser cutting and 3D printing enthusiasts. This one is also powered by geometry nodes, and in a nutshell, it allows you to create intricate Voronoi and honeycomb patterns with simple preset shapes or using your own custom profiles, which is great for crafting coasters, jewelry, or signs that go beyond basic patterns. And the interesting thing is that it offers customization options, enabling you to use the patterns in Boolean operations for unique cutaway shapes, giving your designs a cool and personalized look. The next add-on is really popular, and it is called Bygen. Basically, it allows you to generate or modify meshes using a series of non-destructive modifiers, keeping everything procedural and ready to be adjusted at any given moment. And while it requires some tweaking for optimal results, a level of understanding of this add-on will enhance your modeling capabilities and I think help you learn to create very unique modifier stacks. And to use it, subdivide a simple mesh a couple of times, then use the bygen panels in the M panel to apply any of your selected presets. 
Now, just adjust the modifier stack to refine the mesh till you get a result that you are happy with. Now, let's move to something less personalized and more natural with an add-on called Vegetation. It can be useful for quickly adding and scattering vegetation assets on top of your models and services. And using its scattering features allows you to dynamically scatter assets on any selected object in your scene. You can also get the option to use your own custom vegetation assets, which is nice to have. And of course, you have customization options like changing the density, scale, seed, randomness, and so much more that you can explore. Now, let's talk about an add-on that helps you create procedural hair with an add-on called GBH Tool. It basically simplifies hair creation using the new and powerful hair system that you can find in Blender. And simply put, it allows you to use curves or mesh objects as a base. Using this enables you to quickly make and edit various hairstyles, like hair strands, stylized meshes, and hair cards for games. The add-on also includes tools for braids, curls, and rolls. And allows vertex color-based distribution, also you get full control over the UV maps, and you can even convert hair to mesh, curve, or even particle systems. If you are creating an environment or scene, it is always a good idea to black out your scene. And with the add-on called QBlacker, this is gonna be easier. You can easily draw primitives in the viewport, which is handy for quick blacking out your scene. This method is often more convenient than adding default shapes like cubes, spheres, or planes. So using QBlacker is gonna be simple. Just press Shift plus A and choose a QBlacker. Or you can add any primitive shape of your choice. And as you drag the mouse, a gizmo snaps to the surface of another object. And just like that, you can continue dragging to fit your scene or right click to stop. Next, we have a modeling add on called ND, short for non destructive modeling. This one is gonna be especially useful for hard surface forms, allowing for quick parameter adjustments without manual poly modeling. The add on basically uses modifiers for flexible editing, enabling better object and edit mode operations, in addition to interactive and recallable modifiers, better boolean, bevel, and extrusion, as well as model packaging with material IDs and UVs. In addition, it offers scene management with utilities and visualization modes. And to top it off, the add-on also offers extensive customization options for behavior, theming, and UI. Moving on to an add-on called Blueprint, which as the name suggests, it helps you get those blueprint renders of your models right within Blender. And it works by applying a special shader to all your objects, making your edges render out as a white line. And it also gives you a couple of background images to choose from. And you have settings to fine tune the effect, such as line radius, planar angle, and gradient color, as well as two shading values that you can play around with. Now, if you are a fan of sci fi stuff, we have an add on called Sci Fi Panel Generator. This one is designed to automate the process of making futuristic sci fi panels with bolts, wires, pipes, and so much more. It comes with over 23 different presets covering different panel styles and the good thing about this tool is that it is fully procedural, meaning you can tweak your geometry and watch as your panels update in real time, which enables you to extrude your edges, move them and more. And of course, when it comes to customizability, you can use various settings and sliders that this add-on offers to fine-tune every little aspect of these panels. Now, if you need buildings, there is this add-on called Buildings Generator which is a simple add-on that requires pretty much zero effort to use it and get some decent results when it comes to generating buildings. All you have to do is open up the presets that come with this add-on and select one out of the many buildings that come with the generator and that's it. But the problem is, it comes with a limited degree of customizability as you can only adjust the building textures, but you will get some decent results nonetheless. Now back again to generating something natural, we have an add-on called Real Terrain. This one helps to generate cool-looking terrains by letting you choose from 35 different styles, and using it is simple and straightforward. Just select one of the terrain types and append it to your scene. And the cool thing is that this one allows you to customize your terrain by changing different values and sliders, which gives you control over the height, subdivision level, scale, angle, coordinates, and so much more. The next one is simple, but it can do the trick for some tasks. 
with the add-on called Auto Constraints. It works by automatically adding axis constraints to different 3D tools like the Move, Tweak, Rotate and Scale tools. And you can also use it in various editing modes. And it works well with Global, Local, Normal and other orientations. Plus, you can personalize its appearance in Blender and conveniently toggle it on and off while you work. Last but not least, we have Level of Detail Generator. And this one simplifies the creation of multiple level of detail models, especially for your game assets, which is essential for optimizing performance in games. So this one keeps your model visually accurate by presenting the main shape of your original high poly model while reducing its file size and data, making it easier to run in video game engines. Plus, it offers handy buttons to reset or apply transformations to your original data, which gives you full control over the optimization process. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in one of these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos and I will see you in the next one.